Okay, let's have some real fun and do a nice little word problem involving averages. And what we want to do is find out what the numbers are. Uh, so a problem like this would go something like, given that x, given three numbers, x, 2x, and 3, the average of these three numbers is 10. What are these numbers? Okay, so this is what we want to try to figure out. And uh, this is going to involve our ability to write an equation, solve an equation, and then check to see if, in fact, we did this correctly. Now, if you think you could do this, go ahead and pause the video, put your answer into the comments section. Uh, of course, I'm gonna go through this step by step in just one second, but first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, everyone can be successful in math, but it requires two things. One, you gotta be willing to work hard. You gotta you know, study, take notes, do all the homework. If you don't do all that, and it doesn't make a difference if you're not naturally good at math, you're, you're not gonna be successful in math. So you gotta work hard. The second thing you need is great math instruction, super clear. Understandable, uh, understandable and comprehensive. So that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, check out my Math Help program. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description of this video. We'll really help you out big time. Also, if you're preparing for any sort of test with the math section, something like the GED, SAT, ACT, ASVAB, maybe a teacher certification exam, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out. If you homeschool, you absolutely must check out my middle and high school homeschool math courses. Um, they have uh, excellent reviews. I've been doing working with homeschoolers for many, many years. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to help me out by liking it and subscribing to my channel. All right, so let's get into this problem. What are these numbers? We got some mystery numbers here. So this number, this number, and this number, the average is 10. What are these numbers? Well, let's make sure we understand first what is the average, okay? So let's uh, do a little easy example. If I gave you three numbers, let's say two, four, and nine, and we want to find the average, how do we do that? Well, remember, uh, when you're given numbers and you want to find the average of these numbers, by the way, there's another word for average. It's called the mean, okay? That's not to be confused with the median, okay? So the mean is another word for average. So uh, just uh, as a little uh, side note there. But anyways, when we're finding the average or the mean, what we're going to do is add up the numbers. So in this case, it's going to be two plus four, plus nine. And then how many numbers do we have here? We have one, two, three. So we're gonna divide by the number of numbers that we have. So we're gonna add up the numbers and we're gonna divide by three because we have three numbers. So two plus four, that's six plus nine, that's 15. 15 divided by three is five. So the average of these three numbers is five. Okay, so if you understood um, how to, you know, already find the average, that's excellent. Matter of fact, I'll give you a nice little happy face uh, for being such an astute math student. But now we need to kind of pull this all together and uh, use our algebra skills to solve this problem. All right, so what's going on here? Well, we have some variables going on, uh, or some terms. We have x, okay, that represents some number. 2x represents this number, you know, twice that number. And then we have three, but we know that the average is equal to 10. So what you wanna do is, you know, uh, use the main idea of calculating the average and then writing an equation. So when I take the average of these three numbers, what do I do? Well, I'm gonna add them up, okay? That would be this number plus that second number. I don't know what these numbers are, plus three. I have one, two, three numbers. I'm gonna divide by three. I just know when I do this, okay, I'm gonna get the average and the average is gonna be equal to 10, okay? So the first thing you need to do is set up a nice equation just like this, okay? Now, at this point, if you understand this, you're like, oh, I get this, that's excellent. But what you need to now uh, be able to do is to solve this equation right here. All right, so this is where it gets interesting. How many of you can actually solve this equation? So let's say you understand how to set this up, but now you struggle on so the uh, actually resolving this by solving the actual equation. Well, then you know what you need to work on, okay? You need to work on solving uh, equations, et cetera. So, uh, you know, whatever your weekend, make sure you take note of it and go back and review, get, uh, sh you know, uh, you know, strengthen that skill set. All right, so let's go ahead and solve this equation. There's a couple different ways you can approach this, okay? Uh, one way is to think this is one, fra uh, this is a fraction, okay? And it's equal to another fraction. We have 10 over here, but we can write this as 10 over one. So you can think of this as a proportion and, 
uh, when we have a proportion, we can simply use the cross product. If you don't know what a proportion is or the cross product, uh, then you absolutely need to go watch some of my additional videos on proportions, how to solve proportions. Um, so again, you can find all this in uh, my uh, on my YouTube channel or in my algebra courses. You can find all that, again, by following the links uh, in the description. But uh, what I'm going to choose to do here is, like, you know, I got a fraction. I got this three down a denominator. Let's just get rid of the fraction. Anytime you have an equation with um, a fraction, as long as you multiply the entire equation by the LCD, okay, and, and the, what's the lowest common denominator here? It's three. We can clear the fraction. So that's what we're going to do here. So we'll multiply the entire equation by three. It's effectively doing the same thing as if I was going to treat this as a proportion. So three times this expression right here, what happens? Uh, well, the threes cross cancel. I'm left with only 3x plus 3. Okay, then I have to multiply this 3 by this 10. Remember, uh, when you um, uh, multiply your equation, whatever you do to an equation, you have to do it equally to both sides. So I'm going to take this 3 and multiply by both sides. So this 3 times that 10 is going to be 30. Okay, now we could have gotten there. Um, if you wanted to think of this as a proportion this way, okay, 3x plus 3 times 1, it gives me 3x plus 3. 3 times 10 is 30. Okay, so if you wanted to go to the, uh, the proportion route using the cross product, you could do that as well. But um, if you're not understanding what I'm doing here, then you need to go back and learn how to solve linear equations and rational equations and proportions, etc. All right, so we have 3x plus 3 is equal to 30. What's my next move? Well, I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides of the equation, and that's going to give me 3x is equal to 27. Now I'm going to go ahead and solve for x by dividing both sides of the equation by 3. So x is equal to 9. That is our answer. Awesome. So if you got that right, let me go ahead and give you a nice little lovely happy face and A plus in 100%. But we're not done yet. How do we know that, uh, you know, you did this right? Well, you solved the equation, okay? But I want to know the numbers, so I was maybe a little bit in uh, premature here. Maybe I'll give you an A, okay? Let me kind of back up. I got a little bit too excited there. We'll hold off and reserve um, the A plus at 100% until you tell me the actual numbers, okay? We just know that X is equal to 9, so let's go ahead and answer the question. See, even myself, I got a little bit too energetic there. And I didn't follow through, but let's go ahead and continue on. So x is equal to 9, but I want to know the numbers, right? So remember, the numbers were x, 2x, and 3. So x, okay, we just solved was equal to 9. So x is 9. So one number is 9. 2x is the other number, so that's 2 times 9, okay? So that's going to be what? That's, of course, going to be 18. So we have 9 uh, twice that number, of course, is 18, and 3. So 9, 18, and 3 is the numbers, and when we take the average of those numbers, it should be equal to 10. Let's go ahead and just check that, make sure we did this correctly. So the average of 9, 18, and 3, that's 9 plus 18 plus 3. Add all those up. Of course, we're gonna, we have three numbers here, 1, 2, 3, so we're going to divide by 3. So 9, 18, and 3, we add all that up, we get 30 over 3. 30 divided by 3 is, in fact, 10. Wow, don't you love it when a math problem comes together? So now, let me go ahead and reward you if you got this all right with a lovely little happy face and A+. Plus. Matter of fact, I'll give you 120%, and I'm going to give you multiple stars for being such an awesome math student, okay? So, you know, problems like this are not that difficult, uh, you know, but what really, I think, throws most students off is their uh, inability or their, uh, to really kind of solve these equations. So a simple kind of, you know, setup here, you know, like this is a basic algebra word problem. It's fairly easy to understand this. It's solving the equation and make sure you have the right equation and, and following through. That's typically going to give students um, some, uh, you know, a bit of trouble. So the main idea here is beyond you know learning how to do a problem like this is to identify any weak areas they have well, it might be you know working with fractions positive negative numbers uh solving equations you know uh, the first key to you know improving in mathematics is to first identify what you're weak in okay but the worst thing you can do is to be like oh i know this stuff but i don't know this stuff so i'm just going to forget about it you know and hope it will never kind of show up again well unfortunately all this stuff 
is going to show up again. All the things you learn in math, all these skills, you know, it's all interconnected and interrelated. So take the time, review what you need to review. Okay. And how do you do that? Well, if you like my teaching style, I have tons of videos on my YouTube channel. And of course, if you really, really want to learn this stuff, you got to check out uh, my full courses. Um, but anyways, whether it's me or someone else, you know, figure out what you're doing and that's going to make the rest of learning mathematics much, much easier. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your uh, time and have a great day.